Hello, this is Tov from Traffic Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can distribute grass or weeds uh, pretty much in Blender fairly easily using this add on called Grass Vault. Uh, it's pretty nice. <clears throat> Excuse me, does a great job of distribution, has a lot of variety in the uh, assets itself. And I'll leave a link of it. Uh, below this video so you can download it yourself and try it out but again it's the same process uh, once you've downloaded it onto your system go to edit and preferences install navigate to where you've installed it click on that click on install add-on I've already done that and then once that's been done just put a check in the box <clears throat> excuse me and, and that uh, activates it inside the blender now this version of it is uh, let me see this is version 1.2 and this works for Blender 2.8 series. I'm using 2.81 myself. There's a newer version, I think it's 1.3 that works that works for 2.9 and above. Uh, but it's just still the same principle. And then once it's been installed onto your, into Blender, you go to your tool panel here and it's right there. Right now it looks pretty empty, but once you start using it, uh, you'll see that you'll have more options to work with. Um, now, the key thing with Grasswald is subdivisions. You have to probably, you have to just subdivide your mesh, no matter what it is, a cube or a plane. We're going to use a plane instead of this cube. I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. I press Shift A. Go to Mesh and Plane, click on that. And I'm going to press S. To scale it up and just drag my mouse up so make this plane a little bit bigger now right now this is just one uh, plane that's not subdivided but for a grass wall to work properly in terms of distribution it needs to be subdivided that's going to help out quite a bit so with our plane selected let's click W actually tab to go to edit mode then W and from the pop-up menu click on subdivide and from this menu here Let's click on that little arrow to expand uh, our box here. I'm going to type in 50. Give us enough subdivisions. And that's our mess subdivided. <clears throat> Go Get it out of edit mode by pressing tab. And once that's been done, I don't really don't go to local. I keep it on global. You, you press this plus sign and it adds these cards to... Um, these placeholders so to speak to your mesh and then when you click on one of these two uh, I guess you can call them thumbnails it'll give you uh, different examples of grass that you can that it has to offer you can lay out on top of your mesh and it's a good variety it's got a lot, of, a lot of like grass and dandelions here it's got some moss it's got uh, these oh we don't want to choose that one it's got these dead leaves here and dead uh, debris things like that which is also quite nice but I'm going to go with this grass here click on that and then you can see that because our mesh is subdivided it distributes it pretty much all over the place and it keeps it minimized so that it doesn't pretty much lag your system because these, these are actual this is actual grass mesh here as you zoom in and it works I think it works in Eevee but let, let's see if it does. I just want to make sure of that. I change my viewport there. Okay, it doesn't work in Eevee. It works only in cycles. So right now we're in Eevee. When we change the viewport, we just turn to white because it's, it only works in cycles. But it looks great. But in order for your uh, viewport not to lag, that's why it's pretty much distributing it the way it is. And you can have it a lot more dense than it is but to be on the safe side what I do is this uh, but let's go through to the parameters first just to give you an idea of what it has to offer before we go into distributing it on our plane here I'm going to scroll down you can see you can change the growth of it in terms of the the density the seed is just for in terms of the uh, the way it's scattered across your plane or across your mesh uh, so all it does just kind of scatters when you move this parameter here just kind of scatters the just randomly and your particle size it just makes your grass bigger or smaller in terms of clumps and then here 
uh, before going any further, it gives you different varieties of or different variations of the species. Right now it's on Archard grass. If you click left click on this thumbnail here, it gives you different versions of that same kind of grass. And down here, all these are, it just gives you a different view of the thumbnails. Again, you click on that, it just gives you the same kind of uh, options here to change your grass wherever you want it to be or whether you want it to be this kind of grass or you want it to be moss or the leaves and once again if you click on any of these major thumbnails here you can change the, the variety the variant of them here so that's a good option to have <clears throat> excuse me as we scroll down this disabled uh it says disabled child optimization which i mean it it, that actually still helps in terms of uh, not it not being too much too heavy for your system to process or to use so we just leave that box checked uh, you can change the display here in terms of the texture in terms of the um, the number of particles in your viewport actually you can make that less in terms of how because that actually still helps and optimizes your viewport. You can have it displayed at 100%. Now the textures here, you can make it textured or solid or wired or bonds. All these options here, this still helps in terms of not causing Blender to lag, which is still helpful. Uh, when you go down to distribution, that's why you have to subdivide it also, because when you go down to distribution, if you want to weight paint, uh, which is a good option to have uh, in terms of, once again, not causing Blender to lag, Weight paint where you want the grass to be. We'll look into that in a little bit. Uh, I can also have the grass move in terms of it being blown in the wind with by affecting the turbulence of it. I uh, just click on this and create new turbulence. This affects the grass as a whole. Actually, this affects the individual leaves of the grass. This apparently affects the grass as a whole. So that's you have options there also, which are which is quite nice. Um, you have all these options here in terms of the material, the age. You can make the grass age in terms of being dry or not too dry. Uh, the translucency of the grass in terms of uh, it being you, you being able to see through it in terms of like the sunlight reflecting through or going through the leaves. Uh, you can increase, increase the wetness in terms of uh, you wanting it to look like it's just rained on the grass. You can change that. Uh, dead patches that's affected also the dryness of the grass so on and so forth and these options are here for you to use now if you want to really really um, get into a lot of nitty-gritty with the uh, options here just click on advanced and it just gives you all these slew of options here in terms of what you want to do if you if you really want to really get into it in terms of really critiquing uh, not critiquing but in terms of um, Pretty much adjusting every single aspect of the grass itself you have all these options here now myself personally i don't uh, touch any of this stuff because the way the grass looks uh, by default looks great so i just leave it as it is but if you want to go further in terms of detail and all that kind of stuff with the color the bump the dryness uh, the dead patches and so on and so forth you have that option to do so you can change the color the base color of the grass and the uh from the base color to the old color and that's your choice to do that but like I said before I just leave it on basic and like I said before this is a really good way of having grass distributed on your plane and the key thing is the distribution of it in terms of weight painting which we're going to get into right now but for myself once I've added the grass I've chosen I pretty much leave it as is that's kind of lagging a little bit in terms of uh, the density and the size. The size I might change a little bit, but for the most part, I leave it as it is. And before I do any weight painting at, at all, what I do is when you weight paint, it'll actually uh, turn Blender into the weight paint option and it would turn all this blue. Gives you the brush you can like paint over what you where you want the grass to be. But what I do myself is I just automatically go up to the and once again, you can uh, change the title of grass. You can add as much grass as you want, add as many systems that you'd like. But once again, you have to be careful with that because you don't want Blender to lag. You can change the name of it. Let's double click on that and turn this to, or change this to Grassy. 
just to keep track of your grass systems. And I turn off the uh, viewport display so that way I can have the freedom of movement inside of Blender. Let's left click on that and that, and that pretty much clears it out. It's still there, but not um, in terms of like your viewport, but the grass is still there. Then you, I scroll down to distribution and click on start weight paint. And then I keep all the settings as they are. And you can just paint in here where you want the grass to be. And then once you're satisfied with where you want the grass to be in terms of uh, the density, you can weight paint in terms of like density and also the length of the grass, but I just keep it on density. Click on exit paint. Then I scroll back up and turn on the display mode again, and there you see your grass. And now I can make the adjustments that I'd want to make in terms of the density. So I just can crank this up. I can make it that high and still. There's no, no lagging inside of Blender in the viewport. I can change the seed. I can change the particle size too. Make it bigger or smaller. Let me pull it up a little bit more. And also the good part about this, I can click in here now. I can change the grass to wherever I want it to be. Curly dock. Click on that and change it to that. I can change the variety to something different. Uh, Kentucky bluegrass. Click on that. Change variation to something different also. So that's to me, that's the best way you can use grass wall and blender in terms of uh, distributing your grass and then changing the grass to what you want it to be and how you want it to look. And that's today's Blender quick tip. And I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful for those of you who have been watching or have watched it. And I really do appreciate you guys who subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.